We've already cleaned the tracks. But, uh, this is a clay rag used for detailing. We've done scraped the window and scrubbed it. But I use this to break the surface tension. You can see where the water's beating up on it and everything, which, you know, is, you know, it, it could cause problems with the film adhering. Then again, it might not, but it's just extra precaution. Plus, this thing does a final clean without leaving any kind of lint or anything on it. It just works great. I've got a detail shop, and this is a worn out when it's too, too far gone to use on paint so it doesn't pull the contamination out of it, but man, it, it works on glass. I'm going to do a future video on how to use it on back glasses of cars that's got trouble with peanuts. This clay rag in conjunction with the right shrinking technique cures most all that problem. We've got our own line of rags we use. It's got our logo on it. These are low pile, low lint microfiber. We also sell these with your custom logo on. I dry the window completely down with a rag after doing it. Drying the top edge is key. I do lightly wet the bottom half so I don't flush it up into the, the corners as in some folks do. It allows me to shave this thing pretty quick. I always leave extra film where I can shave the top edge. I try to never touch the adhesive surface of the film with my hand if I can help it. There's some applications where you about have to. I always take the short side of the film in to the bottom first. Slide this down in and rock the back of the film up into the edge of the seal. I like to finish, finish my edge all the way up on the corner. Then I'll shave the top edge. And by using this alcohol and a soap mixture for the top, it allows me to be able to shave pretty quick because it gives you the benefits of two staging so you don't have to use so much slip solution now if you get right up here get real close to this thing and go all the way across there's no trash no anything across the top edge of this window it's perfectly clean same as the edge over here I do that and I take the window all the way up it out. I don't use a Blue Max on it. I'm not using a yellow turbo. I'm not using a pink mumbo jumbo or a orange dream crusher or whatever you want to call them uh, to leave a bunch of rubber film on the window. This is a free card. It comes from Phoenix Graphics with some Teflon tape across the top. This is Global QDP and I'm bearing down. There's no scratch marks in the film. This saves that whole problem, that whole issue. I'm going to mount it down one more time. Of course, again, there's going to be somebody that comments and says, Oh, you could do that much faster than this. Well, hell, I guess I could if I wasn't filming. I could do it a lot faster. I always start in the corner and get this radius first. It's all about the light touch. And I'm gonna start over here on the front. 